Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Swordhaven with me, Bregaton. Let's continue exploring to the east of Clamreach. Pretty loud. <laughs> Come on. I gotta dodge, what, four attacks total? Or was it five? for action. Probably rest for a little longer next time. We'll be okay for now. I don't suspect there'll be many threats in this area that could stand up to three adventurers, even in a roughed up state. How could you stand thy ground? Oh, that's all right. Kill me! 
Oh, I keep using all these abilities where <laughs> I can't move. I actually need to rest them. Like another the wrong thing. There we go. Yes. And now it's dark. All right, some money. A war knife and horse gifts. Two sheets of paper tied with a length of wax thread. The shaky writing is faded but still legible. On a deep, decid a deciduous forest and enter within as far as you are able. Dress plainly, as if for a day of labor, and carry no holy symbols. Choose a serene place suitable for meditation. A mushroom ring in a sun-dappled meadow, where the wind and the verdant leaves sounds like a chorus of faraway voices. Sit upon a carpet of moss, or the trunk of a fallen tree. Close your eyes and empty your mind of worries and fears. Call out to your host using these exact words. O oh, kindly people of woods, come out, come out. I bear a most precious gift. They hear gentle whispers, smell honeysuckle and lemongrass. You can feel the tickle of tiny wings near your ear. Keep your eyes firmly shut. Call out again. Thank you for welcoming me to your court. Please accept the gift I've brought you, the gift of my name. Do with it what you please, and reward me as you see fit. Now the rest of this page has been roughly torn away. The remainder of the ritual remains a mystery. Throw stuff at me. Alright. Fine. I'll come to you then. A spider silk bowstring. Oh, so his little buff didn't go away.
really like their picnics in this area. Time for action. Some tough nuts to crack. I guess we'll stop by the inn and rest up, and then we'll head north towards the Barbarians and Wolves. Uh, I might stop by the Blacksmith and see if he has any armor for sale. I hate that I can't clear this fog of war up here. <laughs> That's the headman's house. Uh, the tavern is over. My camera all turned around and I lost track of where I was. Let's tell the rumors. Uh, we probably sell a few things. Like, we don't need the battered sword or that dagger. I'm not going to do any crafting, so I didn't sell any of that stuff and any books that we have. 
Well, actually, we'll keep uh, Forest Gifts in case that comes up again before the end of the demo. Let's have a leather jacket. Let's grab that. 156. I need to read that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and sell these. We're about to go collect more fangs anyway, so if we need... Need them for a quest, we're gonna get them. So if I wore another jacket on my main character, I think we'll give him... Oh no, that's on uh, this guy. What do we have on him? Oh! We can uh, double up here. Fantastic. It's probably better on my primary tank, but... Eh. Just say the word. Has he earned it yet? Uh, let's hope the blacksmith is selling some better weapons, because I feel like our weapons are just pathetic. I could have crafted better stuff by now. We found plenty of ingredients. I say that without knowing the recipes, but I I can assume, I think. Oh right, yeah, let's read that book before I forget. Alright, so this is the uh Slurium Phrase Book. A booklet which explains the basics of the barbarian's language. Uh, greetings. Arada Lano. A warm terror but traditional greeting and farewell. Zugarin Narit Barak Kina Ak. I come with peace. Zuma Zeni alone. Uh, what is your name? Korabut Zeni Akum. My name is Korabut. Business. Zaugai Hao. Is this for sale? A Colt Henbat Hao. How much does this co How much does it cost? A Colt Head Heg Hao. This is too expensive. Tosenu Hao. I will buy it. Zoom Eskeru Ak. Thank you. Polite. Doro. My pleasure. Communication. Hitsu Anagin uh, Demio Ak. I speak your language a little. Zoom Dil Ak. I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zoom Dil Ak. You want to kill me? Uh, Hill Ezigin Taugedu Ak. Please don't kill me. Uh, the rest of the thin booklet is filled with other useful phrases, basic grammar, and pronunciation. Boy, I sure do like pronunciating stuff. Especially incorrectly. Oh, hey, uh, there's something I want to tell you about your wife. I meant to do this earlier. A uh, what? The Hazel eye scan you from head to toe. Out with it. Uh, tell him what you learned about the hiding fugitive. The smith listens to your account in total silence. When you finally stop, he shakes his head. But why didn't she tell me? Uh, 
Uh, to shield you from this responsibility, I, I guess. Or option five. Shield me. That's a harebrained idea if I ever heard one. Looks away. Huff. Leave me be, you lover. As you wish. After a quick glance, it confirmed that you're on your way. He bends to his work once more. Alright, what do you got? Another breastplate. A dull spear. Bronze clasp. Oh, a venerable claymore. What do we have? I can afford it. Dull spear. I wish we had an upgraded spear. I feel like our Nostra is lacking in damage. Oh, it's the same as what we got. Okay. Well, we can buy the armor at least. <sighs> what is it? Not for being a blacksmith, he doesn't have very good wares, does he? Not sure how he stays in business. I still think the spears should be one-handed with a shield, and then the bardish and the spears and halberds class can be the two-handed weapon. I really like the aesthetic of a spear and shield. I think some of the abilities, like uh, stand thy ground, mm -hmm. synchronize as well with a, a shield. You put them up front and let the enemies come to them. We'll go back and forth between the road and the edge of the map. One, two, three, four, five, six wolves. Let them come to us. I think we'll be okay here. We fought, what, four or five wolves with one character? I think we can handle the six with three characters. I like two apiece. Come and get some. Stay just out of range. There we go. Yeah, that ability is fantastic. <laughs>
Uh, so influenced by Alpha. This monster is empowered by their pack leader would deal more damage in battle. Melee damage plus one and range damage plus one. They start throwing their teeth at me. I'm gonna move forward there. Wolves, or it was wolves. Were wolves? Not to be confused with werewolves. Well, it took three damage that entire fight. There's stuff here. That doesn't highlight when I hold alt. A uh, cross peen hammer and a copper ingot. Alright, so finish clearing out the to the west of the road. Also, I wonder if you can actually leave this area and go into the next. The demo's only supposed to be four hours long. I've definitely gone over that already, but that's my particular playstyle. I feel like just this first area is about four hours worth of content anyway. Is there somebody behind? Still mobilized. Time for action. Get back to the road. We'll just follow the road back south. We'll go turn in the wolf quest. Let's see if there's a follow-up quest for that. It looks like we just have the rest of the north to explore. If the barbarians are still there. They may have left after we sent uh, What's-His-Face to them. It was the headsman's house. Seen anything suspicious in the village lately? Aside from everything you already witnessed yourself. Hmm. No, I don't believe I have. You guard this gate all day and all night. If anyone's seen anything, it ought to be you. All day and what now? If I was working those kind of hours, I'd at least get myself a chair. It's pure chance that you always stumble by during my shift. <laughs> I eat, I sleep, I do all manner of chores. If he usually has to explain such things, he finally adds. You know, like all folks do. So no, I don't think I can help you. Mm -hmm. I talked to the Waylot's daughter. Um, that's wringing his hands. He spoke to Agna. Yes, and uh, she doesn't love you. That's so. Well, can't say I'm surprised. You didn't have to ask her. Thanks for clearing up my doubts. <laughs> to be honest, you're kind of a wimp. I think she deserves better. He loses a deep sigh and looks away. Keep your chin up, Just cheerio.
A lot of the dialogue in Adam RPG was hilarious, so I'm excited to see where the dialogue in this game goes. Uh, the wolves are done for. I got all of them, eh? Goodness, what a relief. You have our thanks, friend. And not just that, but also a wee reward I put aside for such an occasion. 40 dinars for a job well done. But, uh, leave off the haggling, I. Right? I'm a little short on coin right now. Uh, sure. 40 will do. Here you go. I'll spend it all on... Uh, some of, uh, excuse me. Some of and ale. So I wonder if he would have said the same thing with the haggling, had we haggled for the wolves first, and then done the other quest. Uh, that's all. Unless there was something else. Hmm. Thanks for a bit. Nay. I reckon you've done all you could for us. I had my reservations, but you've proved this jaded old fellow wrong. And for that, I am doubly thankful. Uh, you're welcome. If you need anything else, you know who to call. Indeed I do, friend. Slams his fist on the table. I swear you were sent by the dragon himself. Uh, how is the village doing? We're fine, actually. Nothing to brag about. The fine is good, too. With no apparent threats looming, there's even hope we might reach great at some point. Well, look at that. Did a good deed and got paid. I'm disappointed there's not a sign up this way. There's one next to the other entrance. Oh, there is a sign up here. Do I need to click on it to activate it, or can I travel there since I locked, uh, kind of looked at it as we walked past? Dang. I was about to say, I wish there was a sign up there, and there, there definitely is. Well, I think even if you can go past the village in the demo, I probably won't. Uh, I kind of just want to finish exploring this area and then wrap up the demo, because I think we've ex uh, explored most of the system's mechanics and, and points of interest in it. We've seen what the dialogue's like, we've read some books, learned some lore, experienced the combat. Uh, yeah, it's just a little off limit. Um, experienced combat, we had companions. Uh, various weapon types, combat styles. I've had a few quests, a couple boss fights. I'm happy with it. Got my more than my fair share out of the demo. The only thing I wish we would have done was open up all those locked chests, but that, that's alright. Just saving some surprises for the full release. 
Time for action. Mm -hmm. So we can't go that far east here anyway. I'm assuming this is all going to be mountainous. Well, maybe not. You know what, maybe we'll just finish exploring this right now. Seems fairly clear so far. Uh, worst case scenario, we come across... Well, they're all the way over there. Maybe there's more to it than I thought. I'll say that the map is fairly large, and this is just a, a village. It's not even the main city of Swordhaven. Wonder what the scope of the city is going to be. I'm going to loop around the Barbarian location and we'll wait and speak to them if they're still there after we finish mapping out the rest of this area. Can't fit through there? That's a little disappointing. Chest crate wood for moss short. That's exciting. Time for action. Saltpeter, arsenic, green vitriol, and dried sorrow leaf. Have all that to explore. <laughs> I was expecting some sort of terrain to stop us, but it just keeps going. So we'll keep going. Wow. 
Yeah, we'll have one final climactic episode for the demo, and then wrap it up. Liking this ability. Really effective against these all melee groups of enemies and thematic for a spear build as well. You guys remember when wolves used to give us trouble? I do. <sighs> what is it? Another post. Skull cap and a leather vest. Damage threshold plus one, dodge chance minus three percent. What's gonna give it to her? Yes. I made it all the way to the corner. Got some decent loot to boot. Well, I know I've probably missed quite a bit in the demo, and that's fine. Uh, there's probably going to be more beyond the demo than what I'm actually going to showcase. But again, maybe not. I'm not sure if you can actually leave this area. I'm not going to try. So I'm already not a huge fan of playing demos, because I hate spoiling the game for myself before it comes out. I'm sure a lot of what we've experienced will change come full release regardless. But I'm, I'm adamant about not playing early access and things most of the time. To like experience everything blind for the first time. I don't want to make any meta decisions the first playthrough. I want it to just be natural, you know, cons uh, you know dealing with the uh, consequences of my actions as I go through. Because you only get that first playthrough once, and I hate to spoil it. I did leave. That's good to know for the future playthrough. See, another meta decision. I'm sure we'll come across them at a later date. Well, since we don't have anyone to talk to, I guess we can see if we can go to the next area. Just a quick peek.
Time for action. I was hoping that we'd arrive at their camp and they'd be in the middle of the trial for uh, what's his face. I can't recall his name, but um. Hold a bit. Now a quick save and see where this takes us. Just say the word. I guess nowhere. Uh, what is it? Is that what I'm gathering? Oh, here we go. Sorry, you can exit to the world map in this demo. Okay. So that solves that. Well, neat. Well, I guess that's it for the demo. Uh, we do have other quests, of course, but they all take place in other locations, so. Well, neat. I quite enjoyed it. I think the game's got a lot of potential. Again, they are tried and true developers, so I'm not I'm not too worried about the, the quality of their content. Um, I've already backed the game personally. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It definitely plays how I expect a fantasy Adam RPG game to play. I'm glad they give you more companions early on. It gives it more of that uh, you know fantasy CRPG feel. Because in Adam RPG, it took a while to get the companions. And one of them you'll get to like much later anyway. And they're also fairly scarce. So I'm hoping that we get you know quite a few more in this one. Um. But yeah, you can tell there's more content already underway. All the NPCs on the beach when you first arrive on the shore. The, the Lonely Shore specifically. Um, depending on which background you select, you have a different starting companion there. I did see that verified on the Steam forums. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I enjoyed the demo. I'm glad this is where it stops though, because I hate to spoil more of the game for myself before the full release. Yeah, uh, that's going to do it for the demo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As much as I did. And uh, that's going to do it for now. Uh, thanks for joining me on yet another demo adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.